Hi there, welcome to this new video. Um, I hope you all had a nice Christmas and just when I was messing around over the Christmas period when I got five minutes from the kids, I made that sound and I thought you might find it interesting on how to make it. It's kind of, I guess you could call it like a housey church organ and you, know, you could play something like this. is extremely easy in absinthe actually um, because of the type of uh, wave types it has so what did we do well as always file new sound and we've got the patch now what I'm going to do is use a sine wave but use that for some bass content so I'm just going to drop it by 12 semitones or one octave Then we're going to mix in, if you come into sign, just look for one of the organ uh, wave files, which is, where are they gone? There we go, so there's a few of them actually, so. I kind of like two myself. Okay, we'll go with that, so we've now got You can hear the you can hear the huge influence this sub bass oscillator, I guess you could call it, is having on the sound. It's all very churchy there. I don't know if Christmas has kind of affected me on this, but then oscillator three, I want some noise. Now the noise in absinthe is very strange. It's very 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 digital, I find. Now so. Just for ease, I'm just going to find one that's the least digital. That one, number one, will do. But what I'm going to do is flatten this out to make it smoothen out. Although, when doing that, it makes it really high pitched, almost as if the resonance has been affected. So, what I might do is just keep that and add a filter. Maybe a low pass 24 dB. And just try and get rid of some of that real high digital stuff. Okay, that's a bit better. So now if we add them all back in together. So, felt was behaving a bit strangely. So it sounds anyway. That'll do it, but we're just going to mix a little bit of this in. Okay, that sounds better. See what it sounds like down in the lower registers. That's pretty deep. Now we may just stick a filter in here and filter out the real bottom end. So everything below 100 hertz should do it, maybe even a bit higher. Now let's leave it at 100. I'll do it. Now I'm making this with headphones on so if you're doing this on small speakers you might not be hearing the subtleties that I'm talking about but Yeah, it sounded good to me. Now 
Um, you can put a master filter on there if you like, just to filter out any unpleasantness over the whole sound. Sounds okay to me. Whether or not I would leave that in there or not is probably directly related to the type of song I'm making. Now, that is that's a, that's that's an extremely basic patch. Um, however, it's quite effective, I think. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to change the amplitude envelopes a little bit. Now, I want them to be quite punchy, but with a nice release and a nice bit of decay, so I'm just going to right click, just add another point, and I'm just going to bring the attack over just a little bit. I want the release to be a little bit longer than that, so that's maybe a little bit too long. probably find that if you turn everything else off when working on the envelopes you'll get a better idea. Okay I quite like that so I'm just going to go and copy that envelope and I'm going to paste it to oscillator B and C. Oops. Paste envelope. Paste envelope. Now that sounds okay. Okay, um, what I would probably do now is go to our effects and find an effect I like. Now it is quite a big overpowering sound that already, so maybe you wouldn't want to use things like echoes, or certainly. This sound not bad with them on, but what's a multi tap like? Yeah, I guess you could just mess around with stuff. But when you when you found something, you can. I like that. So let's hear what it sounds like. However, let's just for a bit of fun, aetherize it and then random it, or mutate it, should I say. So this is what we've got. That's lovely. Now there's so much you can do on this, and I believe that my colleague, Jorgeland, done a video on the aetherizer, so if you watch that, It'll be able to help you understand these parameters. That's lovely. I would maybe modulate that. Maybe with the modulation wheel on your keyboard, something like that. So again, yeah, just experiment. Anyway, it's a lovely... It's a nice organ, and that's your, your sound there. However, if you're anything like me, I like a little bit of randomness as well. So I'm going to come in here... So we'll go back to our patch first. Let's just see what's on, what wasn't on. Yeah, we could leave that off, put that filter back on. No, we'll take that filter off. Okay, so then if we go back to browser, we can see here what's activated. So when I hit mutate, it's going to mutate everything. So...
I like that, so I would probably go file, save sound as, and then it's church organ, not house. I would put maybe underscore A1 or whatever. And that's it, just call it whatever you like. And the great thing about this is, that's quite nice. Just go back through them. I don't like that one, so I'll just retry mutating that one. Oops, if we go back to three. I don't like that one. So as you can see, just going through that, I can get myself loads of patches based on the organ sound itself. So anyway, it's a nice short one today. Um, I hope you all had a great Christmas and I'm looking forward to getting started in the new year. There'll be a couple of videos going up from me again this week. But I think in the new year I'm going to start targeting more genres. So if anyone's got any specific genres they would like to be targeted through these videos. And I may actually do some one to three hour long video courses um, to get a bit more in depth. So uh hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon. Bye.